Looking at the economic situation, what advice will you give government to assist masses? Government needs to consider some of its policies. It's either they give uh, an they give an increase to the workers, or they subsidize some of this um, some of the services that are being rendered. In developed countries, electricity is subsidized, fuel is subsidized, the basic things in life are subsidized, but it's not so in Nigeria. So I would advise the government to subsidize some of these things because the common, common man on the street is not finding it funny. Investments that the government is doing in terms of a road uh, network, the issue of train is not considered. What do you think about that? They are doing the coastal highway. I feel it's not really a priority project because there are so many roads that are not being fixed. The Potakot Aba rail just came up, come upstream last weekend, uh, this week. Hopefully, if they would consider um, connecting Lagos to Medjugorje and Kano and the, the east, the east is not really in the being considered in some of these developmental projects, it will be good for them to connect all the regions via uh, train. So what do you expect in 2025? When coming back to NLC events of this nature or celebration, what will you be expecting? I expect a salary increase. <laughs> I, the president right now is not in the country, so I would say maybe it's because of that that no decision was taken or no concrete um, decision was made known to the to the workers hopefully by ne by 2025 we would see a better country with better with better salary with more developmental projects to help the masses and the workers I hope to beat you next year 2025 your name again indi Baja, a staff of energy commission of nigeria under the pengasin union <laughs> thank you very much my name is comrade ezioma madu Medical and Health Workers Union of Nigeria. People that give us injection. Of course, yes. I can see the four of you. Uh, ah, ma. <laughs> For those that have not seen beautiful faces, <laughs> which you also have. Okay, I'll come back to you. Uh, I want to find out from you the economic situation of this country. How, how is it affecting you? Affecting your job? Ah, uh, it's really affecting us generally. You know, because it has affected the cost of living. And the cost of uh, things, you know, in the market has actually increased. Food stops, transportation, even to workplaces, you know, the cost of fuel, you know, it has, a, you know, a, a, a moral effect on the economy. So it's really affecting the economy of the country. Well, I would actually, just like government is giving palliative, you know, to civil servants, that palliative is not enough. But uh, with the new, um, with the new recommendation that the government has come up, you know, increase in salaries, you know, of uh, and wages of civil servants. Um, let's see, uh, somehow it's going to be, you know, a welcome development if it is being implemented. Are you sure it's not going to trigger increase in prices in the market? Well, actually, you know that in the country, once um, there is an increase in salary, it, you know, it, uh, it, even though it doesn't come at that particular period, it also affects increase, you know, in the in the prices of things in the markets. Well, I, I know you are not affected with the economic situation of this country because looking at your face, it shows that you are not affected. I am affected seriously because going to work has been a problem for some time now. Fuel. For some time, I don't have where to go to work. It has affected me seriously. Food stuff is another problem. School fees is in increase every day. So it has been so wonderful. So wonderful. So going to the hospital to get medical treatment is very difficult these days. So what, what advice will you give government in all this? Day? What I will advise government is the, the, the subsidy. There should be a that subsidy. When it comes to food stop and all those things, do not only be petroleum. Food stop should be subsidized also, so that things will really come down for people to. There will be a uh, price control. Yes, they should. There should be price control. It has been so difficult well, because every day it increases. You go to the average market tomorrow, a different price. Next tomorrow, a different price. So there should be price control. Well, looking at uh, what is going on now, 
as regards to house rent. What advice will you give government to? You know, government in time past have been saying they are bringing houses and houses and houses. By the time they finish building the houses, the rich people that buy the house, the other civil servants don't have anything. So it has been difficult. If they can bring down the house rent for people, it will be easier. Because the, mo the money they give us for house rent is not even enough. A civil servant. It's not enough. You can't even pay one bedroom, not to talk of two bedrooms. Like the house I'm saying now, they have increased it to two point something million. As a civil servant, where will I get the kind of money to pay? So they should do something about it. My name is Comrade Christiana Asha. Glad to see two of you and uh, others. Extend greetings to them. Thank you very much. Really appreciate